Wow, I did not expect that episode to go like that, but I'm sorry, I'm just a little, you know, surprised. But let's go over, you know, what, you know, through the episode. So first, mm, let's talk about the main part where Polyman dies. Um, I was surprised that he was, you know, that desperate to live because I'm thinking that my philosophy is that if you're ready to kill a person, you know, you should be ready to, you know, for your life to end, you know, pretty much you die. And I'm surprised to see, like, how desperate he was. Um, bringing up, you know, Red's you know, rule of no one dies and the cat ears and he says an arrogant thing too like he says oh I'll make you my wife and I'll like give you this and that and obviously you know with Makaido's um last moments before the the cancer takes his life he um yeah, he, he he obliterates um Polyman and the interesting is thing between that the scenes where it was we saw the little kid who the masked little kid and you know he was just sitting in a dark room just watching it from like afar on T V and he said you were the dummy Kanada or which I don't know maybe that was his real name I think and the little kid just played him to make sure he dies but I mean and especially the last scene where you know Makaido he dies because of the terminal cancer and you know he was beaten up pretty bad and I mean that was a sad scene I guess but my thing is that if Mirai becomes a god can he like revive him pretty much because he can do anything but um, I'm curious because I was thinking that Polyman would be the main antagonist so they wouldn't kill him off this early maybe episode like 24 or something but I didn't expect him to die so early on but leave a like subscribe and comment your thoughts and opinions thanks for watching see you next time